What's up, folks? It's Corpse here, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. And and why are you standing there looking bored? Really? Ugh. I was watching the animations on the, the loading screen earlier in there. It, you get a chance. Take five minutes and do it. It's freaking hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. And I think it changes as you go through. Um, we're going to go do our next main mission, main story quest. We're going to go meet Sebastian in Feldcroft, which is a pretty long journey, actually. And we're going to take the broom um, so we can try and uncover some of this flu network. So, I would like to Revelio. Beeston. Yeah, we've been there. I'm looking mainly for flu network stuff. Or little things like this. I mean. Ooh. I can't cast spells. I wish you could cast spells off the broom. I'm going to Rebellio. I figured this is a good opportunity, A, for us to kind of do a fly through. Um. Like I said, I'm mainly looking for flu network stuff. You can do lots of stuff down here. Rebellion. I'm amazed we're not hitting any little hamlets and stuff. Oh, there's one. Okay. So maybe we'll be able to get, uh, Something out here. Revelion. There it is. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to land on your table. I know what that means. Merlin trial. <laughs> yep. And there was something. Oh. Could use all the galleons we can get. All right. Cool. Rebellion. Thank you. The barkeep in Cambridge keeps a stock of ginger root handy to fend off customers' nausea and keep the imbuing a bit longer. Oh. Smart man. Okay. All right. Oh. On the same quest, right? Yep. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I, I just I love the line just straightened itself out. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Revelio. Folks working the farms. There's a trial over there. Hmm. Well, this looks like a fun place. Revelio. Nothing on the Blue Network. So, at least with the keyboard. Uh, if I take my finger off the W key, um, I keep flying forward. Um, this looks intriguing. Um, I keep flying forward, and can turn my damn. Turn my camera and look around and still move in the direction I was already pointed. Where I saw the saw flu thing. Revelio. Did I see? There's not a flu flame down here? I swear I saw one. Really? There isn't one down here? How is that not a thing? Where are we on the map? Yeah, there's one back here. Let's shoot over there real quick. I just want to get these so we and we missed a couple as we can see. I'm not finding all of them. Dang it. Thank you. Okay, I messed up. Gotta. <laughs> yeah. I just. Fucking hello. Oh my god. Okay. All right, so that's the nice thing is that you can, like I guess tell it saying, you can um, take your finger off, skirt around, and eat. And you still fly straight, which is kind of nice. You 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 don't stop moving. This. Hell is this? Huh. Looks interesting.
blue flame over there. Yep. Well. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, you Sebastian. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it. Even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Ominous. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. I was expecting, honestly, I was expecting a little bit more. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! What is he I looking can never there? accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, oh, but nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. And the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. 
If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. <sighs> it's fine. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cozy retreat it once was. Aww. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but <coughs> refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Hmm. Dear Anne, Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, Sharp is still foul, as foul, but you know what I mean. Hope you're feeling better. Sebastian. Ooh. I haven't eaten in a few, like, weeks or so. <laughs> Let's see what Sebastian's up to. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Yeah, well, I All didn't... the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Um. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. Okay. Oh, we can't run. Why can't we run? I want to run. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Ramrock, why is coming back this way? Let me go. <coughs> it won't be long now before we find another repository. <laughs> Let's see here. What do we got? We got chompy cabbages. Oh, I got a bunch of these.
Attention. <laughs> oh, this day has gone on too long. Expelliarmus, hello? Defender. Oh, you got in. Oh, you bastard. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Jesus. Yeah, that was a bit more than I bargained for. Revelio. Whew. I was not expecting that. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, 
An icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Hmm. It sounds as if the Loyalists attacked Anne without cause. I wouldn't put it past them. But I'm convinced that they were trying to hide something. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a Rebellion. specific reason. They have stations for everything. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Hmm. Revelio. Good grief. Hmm. What about someone we know? Or at least someone we've seen. Revelio. Wow. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Revelio. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Okay, it was just up there, but all right. Those are tents they set up, it looks like. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Hmm. Revelio. Nope. I gotta give it a shot. Oh, oops, guess not. be the fireplace how do we get okay kind of dropped me off here Hmm. 
Hmm. You don't want to talk. Revelio. You're already at your destination. I mean, Levioso. Confringo. Uh, Tremendo. I mean, I don't know what we're supposed to do here. Oh, this well looks familiar. <laughs> Okay. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Okay. Weird. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. Exactly. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Oh. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Depulsa. Huh, a stairwell. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Mm hmm. Where do you go? Okay, I guess we're going down. Just one second. Alrighty, folks, welcome back. Sorry about that. I needed to go take care of some things. And we're to explore the cellar. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. It tells me they're after something bigger. Okay, the facts of the vines are... Ooh. My second week at camp, more arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastation, so devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. I traveled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal, and I am the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope 
Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes, knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who so reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Huh. Okay, those vines are creepy. Incendio. Oh wow, do they react to that? Oh, that's kind of cool. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Again. Creepy. Ah. That's hurting me? You little not sure what I did to that. I know it sounds strange, but honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. I can see the undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you weren't telling me everything. Ancient magic? What does that even mean? I'm not entirely sure, but the Keepers have said that it's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. And you can wield it? I don't know, but Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Depulsa. There we go. Incendio. Okay. So. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Oh. By the way, I decided to hide my hat, obviously. Huh. Interesting. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. A room diagram. Hmm. Anything helpful in the note? No. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago. And Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. 
There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. What's a triptych? Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Quest complete in the Shadow of the Estate. Outstanding. Nice. We're gonna get a level. Or not. Ooh, new quest. Astronomy class. Yeah. Talk the astronomy tower upstairs in the main entrance to the room requirements. I should head there now. I still have to do this. Cast a pulso on a levitated enemy. Um, I would like to take care of that. Um, actually, I think we're going to check that out next time. Meet me near the ruins of Falbarton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Okay. And what is this? Oh, that's the exit. Rebellion. I think we're good in here, right? Yeah, it's just that. Okay. Well, I think this is a good place to stop. Um, interesting. The plot thickens, or sickens, however you want to, you know, look at it. And, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm intrigued. Um, we also have to go see Oni. Um, like I said, I want to... Use Descendo on somebody. We need to, uh... Well. Do I not have Descendo? Um... Oh, no. Cast Depulso on a Levitated Envy. Yeah. I think I already have that set up. Yeah. So that's Levioso, and that is Depulso. Okay, yeah, so we have it. We could also use Flipendo. Um, but let's see if we can't pull that off. Alrighty, folks. Sigcorp sign out. Bye now.